car is jerking a lot. I think so. The gearbox. and welcome back to i think what is an episode of project octavia so in this episode basically the car is completely done i am running the is20 turbo with a downpipe the rs245 wheels brakes then a performance tune all of that good stuff and now we're still kind of testing it seeing what's happening so the car is done but we want to test the limits of it kind of so we're going on a uh, drive tonight so it's going to be three cars this thing is20 octi 1.8 All wheel drive Garrett Power Max uh, VRS 245 and the BMW M340 i project M340 i so yep we're going to be going to Siddhu Dhaba and there are some really nice roads on the way over there so let's see what happens So the EPC and uh, check engine light is on. The car is jerking a lot. I think so. The gearbox, nothing else because all of the other problems have been solved. And yeah, let's see what the mechanics boys say. So a little update. So it's actually so. I mean, I was just tripping. I was just thinking of the worst possible outcome. So I was just like, yeah, it's probably the gearbox that's gone. But it's actually not the gearbox, thankfully, because I was like, now this is going to be an expensive affair because DQ 200. So you know, easily one one and a half lakhs to rebuild it without a race clutch. So I mean, the race clutch itself probably. Costs like one and a half lakhs or some shit. So, luckily it's not that. It's just a coil. So, as you guys remember, the car was misfiring and all of that stuff. So, it's still the same problem that has occurred again. So, yeah, I will have to buy APR coils now. I mean, I don't have an option anymore. So, yep, that's what's what has happened. The car is fine to drive. Like, it's not a problem at the moment. I just can't go fast at all. Or else, I'll go back into a limp mode or something. But yeah, we're not gonna push the car anymore, and that's it. Well, we're now going to Nawab Asia instead of Siddhu to have our dinner, and hopefully, no more problems. 
you know on the way there i'm going to keep it chill probably the last clip that you've seen is me eating at nawab asia and after that it's been probably let's say 10 to 15 days uh and yeah my coils are now here cutter hai kya cutter kaun re amir hai cutter hai kya ha looks also cutter hai kya cutter कहा okay. so my car has been basically in that uh, bay over there for the last 15 20 days so finally the apr coils are here and now the car will be back on the road manoj bhaiya batao inko aaj hum aapke shishya so removed all of the coils out of the box now going to start fitting them i don't have any supervisor so let's see how it goes i don't know what to do exactly all i know is you have to put it in this hole and then snap on the coupler like this so i'll first do that with all of the coils and let's see how it goes भी नहीं गया मैं So as you just saw I installed the new APR coils all by myself without any sort of help and now it's time to start the car It's been I guess like 10 days since it was last start started कूलंट बड़ा जिसको भी धोएंगे माई टू ब्लैक ब्यूटीज सो वी इंस्टॉल द एपीआर कॉइल्स इन द कार एंड नाउ द कार इज वर्किंग परफेक्टली फाइन now i know i have been saying that the car has been working perfectly fine ever since we've tried to you know resolve each and every issue but that's the thing with a build like this you have to encounter those issues and fix them as they come now i'm first of all very grateful to venom performance and the mechanics automotive for being so supportive and you know always diagnosing the issue trying to make it right and all of that stuff and i've seen a lot of comments saying that you know venom performance is not doing it properly or mechanics is not doing it properly or you know just don't tune your car keep it stock and all of that stuff but i mean honestly that's 
that's something that you shouldn't take into consideration because first of all when a performance is not at fault at all like it is the best part of the car it's so powerful it's so responsive and i mean the tune is not at fault at all what is at fault is probably me because i don't have unfortunately unlimited money and i just can't splurge money at one time on a singular thing like building a car so that's why i've been trying to cut some corners you know not ordering the coils not ordering certain things and that's why these issues have been turning up so it's definitely not a mistake of mechanics or when a performance so for people saying that you shouldn't tune your car just keep it stock i mean see if you don't want to go through that headache don't do it because it's definitely not something that a regular person would do if you're a car enthusiast well this is what happens in a build especially such a thorough build and do keep in mind that the car when it came from factory made 190 hp and now we're making almost close to double the horsepower from the same engine and when it comes to reliability of course reliability will take some sort of a toll but trust me if you've spent your money on the correct parts you're working with the correct tuner the correct garage you can definitely without any headache without any anxiety drive a stage three car just like mine on a day to day basis so please don't take into consideration any of the comments that you see in any of these videos because i know it might seem like the car has a lot of problems but trust me all of these problems first of all i'm not going to lie are a little bit dramatized we already know that they're going to be coming or you know this is going to go wrong that is going to go wrong but we're filming them just for entertainment sake and just to let everyone know that this can go wrong so thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to the channel so follow us on instagram comment down below how you think the build has been shaping up and what should we do next i'll catch you in the next one